New this morning. No doubt you've heard the term the Great Resignation, but where are people going and what are they doing for work? Good question. Changing careers, not easy. A lot of folks are doing it. Now, there's one industry that is booming in spite of the pandemic it's cosmetology. Hmm. Our Heather Mills with a look now at the Las Vegas beauty industry. Dry erase boards, charts, lectures, everything you'd expect in a classroom, but this is no ordinary class. These men and women are here for hands on training, many swapping nine to five for flexibility and creativity. This is my passion to do hair. Linda Armagest left a career as a research assistant. I've been thinking about this for a while. I want to do something for myself. She enrolled at the Cosmetology Institute of Las Vegas. And she's not alone. Before the pandemic, um, 2019, we did about 51 students. Last year, we enrolled 269 students. Owner Denise Dixon says her school has a 97% graduation rate. And she thinks there's a couple reasons why enrollment quadrupled. A lot of people were facing layoff when, at the height of the pandemic. And so people are now just looking for that backup plan. Even though beauty shops had to shut down for a brief time, Dixon says cosmetologists got creative because clients still want to look their best. The need for it never went away. For instance, nail technologists, they started making press-on nails and making money that way. Um, hairstylists were making wigs, you know, so they were still able to make some sort of income even though that they couldn't work with the public hands-on. Another benefit? Moms like Arma just say cosmetology gives them more of a work-life balance. I can do this on my terms. Work as much or as little as you want, whether it's hair, skin care, or nails. It's an industry that continues to grow every year. And for anyone looking to swap careers, Arma just says, don't be afraid. It's a beautiful journey. You will enjoy it. Heather Mills, live, local, now. Well, it takes about 1,600 hours to complete the full program, That's just shy of a year if you attend full time. And they also offer discounted salon services for the public, which enables the students to further their experience. So I would assume as long as our hair and nails keep growing, the industry <laughs> Need will keep growing as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully. And I think it's you know it's wonderful that they have those uh, mannequins there yes. with the wigs and stuff like that. But I think they do prefer wearing on working on people. I I'm pretty sure they do, and yeah. it's nice to get a discounted services. Exactly. But you know it's interesting. A lot of folks during the depths of the pandemic, when everyone a lot of people lost their jobs, now that the workforce has come back, a lot of them are looking at different opportunities. Mm -hmm. They're going into real estate. They're driving for Uber. They're opening their own business, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. or going into cosmetics. Maybe they're looking for a different field if they have the opportunity. Well, I always felt like we were, we're always meant to, to do more than just one thing in life. People have lots of talents, so maybe it's the time to explore. Huh. Find out Meanwhile, what else the three of us have been on scene for how long say. now? Huh. That Wait, sounds if, great. If the boss is watching, that, that doesn't necessarily mean now's the time for us to explore our <laughs> no, other talents. No. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs>